Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're doing the camera comparison between the Galaxy Note 9 and the Pixel 2 XL. Overall, in my opinion, this is the best hardware versus the best software. Note 9 really came out this year and really just has some amazing hardware on a camera, the best aperture to date. Whereas the Pixel was the best software and impressed everyone last year with how good the software was. Now, even though the Note 9 knocked out the iPhone, today we're gonna see just how well it can do with low light, color reproduction, details, and of course the selfie. So let's see which one is the better overall. All these photos are taken with automatic unless there is some issue that degrades the photo. Three shots is all you get. We see which one is the best. Let's go to it. So first off is the low light and overall this is where the Note 9 shines over the Pixel 2. It just has the best aperture to date and even though the Pixel actually has the shirt pretty clear, where the face is definitely where you can see it and this has been my experience in dim lit restaurant. I took out the Pixel first because I always have that as a reliable camera. However, in the low light restaurant, it could not do a good job and switched to the Note 9, took that same photo of my family and really it just did a lot better job. So yes, in my experience, the Note 9 is much better for the low light settings. And right here, I did not have any light near me and it goes to show. All right, now we go to the low light canvas. So if you take a low light photo of something at night, how does it turn out? Well, overall, these two are some really good photos, but you can definitely see where the Note 9 shines. First of all, the Pixel has had an issue for a long time about lens flare, and that is these streaks of light that come from light. And overall, that has always been its biggest downfall for me. Anytime you can uh, use the Pixel, change the EV to lower and it will reduce it. Again, for this, we only use automatic, so even though I could have made this photo better, by default on automatic, the Pixel could not stop that. And this was the best of the three because the other ones were worst. So overall, yes, the Note 9 did a better job of the building, of controlling the light and of the night sky. But where it really stood out for me is when I zoomed into these fine uh, numbers, 96, and then I zoomed in over here to these same numbers. And man, this is so much clearer and sharper and better lit. So yes, the Note 9 takes it overall when it comes to low light. Now, what about details? Well, Galaxies are one of the best phones where you can really zoom in, crop in, and see those fine details on the shot. And with this one, the Pixel has improved a lot. Again, this is Android P, the latest version of the Pixel, and it really came close. Uh, I had to stare at this photo for about 15 minutes looking at every single part, but the parts that stood out to me were the Unjustice under Ultimate Edition. It's just a little bit sharper than on here, as well as, again, these fine titles. So final uh, chapter right here, and then uh, remaster right here. Just again, a little bit finer and definitely noticeable as I looked at the keyboard up here. And again, the letters on the keyboard are just finer on the Note 9 versus the Pixel. So you're gonna get a better overall detailed shot when it comes to the Note 9 rather than the Pixel. However, now we are leaving the Note 9 strengths and going towards the Pixels. When it comes to color reproduction, it's just, it, it's impossible at least till now to beat the Pixel in color reproduction. What you're seeing is what you're getting and that's where the Pixel shines. Overall, pretty much every single color on here is way more accurate. From skin tones on the faces right here to darker skin tones, even with a yellow box really kind of messing up the orange on this side, it gets it perfectly here. The chrome, the Captain America. Joker is the only one that's a little bit off, I would say. Uh, I would say it's a little bit closer on the Note 9 purples, I guess. Uh, but even on the yellow, uh, orange, and uh, green, it's gonna go back again. So overall, I will say that yes, easily the Pixel 2 is still the best in terms of color reproduction. And the other greatest strength of the Pixel definitely is the selfie quality. Now this is called the Extreme Selfie Tux, and let me explain why. Overall, we have a very dark light area where if you get more noise, you're going to see more noise in low light selfies. If you see a very bright uh, light coming from the top and it overshines the detail, well then in sunlight, you're gonna get not as good of a shot. So over here, you're seeing the difference. And overall with these two comparison, the Pixel 
handedly wins in this uh, shot over on this side. So it's gonna be much better when the sunlight is behind you. However, I will give it to the Note 9. It does a bit better job over here in the dark area, where as on the pixel, you get a little bit more fuzziness. When we go to the subject though itself, you're definitely getting a little bit better uh, detail, I would say, on the pixel. Now, I did make sure the Note 9 did have the beauty mode off. So even though it comes on by default, that does mess up the photo. So I wanted to make it a fair fight and turn that mode off for this photo. Uh, both flashes were turned off as well, but overall, everything else was just automatic, just taking the photo and taking it. And in this comparison, I will say the pixel is just a little bit sharper. Although the Note 9 pulls in a little bit better light uh, in terms of it, I have to give it to the Pixel 2 just a bit better overall when it comes to the selfie quality. So in actuality, with these two, you are getting pretty much a tie. And this is what it is. When it comes to low light, and details you are going to get a bit better shot with the note 9. when it comes to color reproduction and selfies you're going to get a bit better shot with the pixel 2. now here's the big thing of course the pixel 3 is coming out in about two months and we all know everything about it and those sample photos were looking absolutely amazing so this could entirely change with the next pixel coming out but as of right now from last year's pixel it really has stood the test of time of doing as good of selfies if not better than the note 9 in color reduction but the note 9 has shown its quality in terms of details of the photo and in terms of low light so i'm really curious to see how these will all compare next month really when the pixel comes out and when we test it against the note 9 and also with software updates and all these things that will happen which one is really going to reign supreme my money i'm really looking at the pixel 3 but we'll have to wait and see let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below which phone do you have and do you pretty much agree with me and either one is going to take a really good shot it's really in these extreme kind of scenarios where you're going to see a difference let me know in the comment section down below thank you as always for watching this has been r-i-c-k-y the youtube tech guy thank you for watching our video if you liked it why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.